Arup was initially involved uh, working with Cox Rayner uh, in an architectural design competition. We developed uh, the concept, the, the competition winning concept with uh, Cox Rayner and at that stage we were providing all of the engineering disciplines. Uh, when the project became real, when the competition was won, we were then engaged to do the detailed design documentation and site phase work for structural engineering, civil engineering, facade engineering and fire safety engineering. The project was challenging on, on all fronts. It was a technically very demanding project. Uh, it was a project that was done during the midst of the global financial crisis, so there was quite a lot of pressure on the, uh, the client, the contractor and ourselves. Uh, and the delivery method was, uh, was somewhat challenging because it was finally delivered through a design and construct uh, contract. However, the client was a very involved client and they continued to uh, add suggestions and, uh, and generate changes right the way through the design phase. Uh, the main challenge in terms of construction related to the fact that the building needed to be built around, under and over uh, an existing uh, retail office and residential precinct. Uh, so that involved top-down construction to ensure that the building could be built up and down at the same time so that uh, it could be built in the shortest possible time and it also had to be built in a way that didn't uh, disrupt the operation of the existing precinct. Uh, the way that we solved that apart from some clever top-down uh, methodology was to configure the uh, columns that support the tower in a fig tree pattern which is very unusual and it uh, generated a very organic uh, shape to the tower uh, but it did mean that we avoided any transfer structures and we were able to uh, make the tower uh, light yet strong and to avoid having to punch through existing facilities. A project like this that's designed uh, from first principles uh, needs a lot of uh, inspiration, needs a lot, needs a lot of input, uh, it then needs a lot of uh, rigour, checking, reference to uh, past examples, uh, specialised skills, all of the things that Arab can provide. So in the initial stages of the project we were able to, uh, to draw upon Tristram Carfrey's uh, great knowledge and skill in, in scheming and, and uh, coming up with concepts for the building. Uh, then when we got further into the process we started using parametric design to generate the unusual column. Uh, arrangements and so we were able to then draw upon some of the expertise within the firm on parametric modelling uh, and uh, purpose written software. Further on down we were then able to draw upon the expertise of some of our colleagues in Hong Kong and the UK on top-down construction and plunge columns and then finally with some of the uh, intricacies of the fire engineering and the facade engineering uh, we were able to draw upon the, the respective skills networks to uh, to get information on, on where curved glass had been used on towers before, where fire engineering of uh, concrete filled st steel tubes could be used, uh, and all of those sort of things. So yeah, it was a real, uh, a real team effort, if you like. 111 Eagle Street was a very special project, not just for uh, all of the people at Arup who were involved, but for the contractor and for the client and for the architect and the rest of the design consultants. Everyone involved regards it as, as being one of the highlights of their career. And I think that's because it's, it's such an unusual building, it's such a striking building, uh, and it solved a, a huge number of very, very difficult problems very cleverly. Uh, we're very proud of the work that we've done on it, and uh, we think that it's going to contribute to Brisbane's uh, landscape to improve the, uh, the quality of the Riverside precinct for years to come.